Good morning, Guitar Bridge. It's time for your copper heads up. It's Thursday, November 9th, and it's shaping up to be another beautiful day at the Ridge. Congratulations to our November Students of the Month, Nicholas Rail, Lily Romero, and Ben Espinoza. And our Teachers of the Month, Major Studley and Miss Van Weeren, as well as our Support Staff of the Month, Miss Stardelli. Their dedication to both students and our school is a big part of what makes Catawba Ridge such a special place to be. If you're in Art Club, you have a meeting today during Flex in Mr. Shower's room. And all you pageant girls, the deadline to turn in your applications is tomorrow, so make sure to get those into Ms. Adams before the end of the day. The fall dance is almost here, and if you're looking for a little special something to set off your perfect outfit, there's a shop in Fort Mill that's just blooming with possibility. With boutiques, restaurants, and small studios, Downtown Main Street is the historic hub for all things fashion and food. And sandwiched right between all things artistic and appetizing, sits one small business that's blooming with both color and creativity. I made the decision in 2016 um, to pursue a passion as opposed to a paycheck. And I just decided to follow my dreams and um, pursue flowers. Melissa Dawson, the founder of the studio, believes that flowers have a way of bringing people together. With this mindset, she has made sure her business has always been a welcoming place for everyone by offering locals the opportunity to come and design with her. Something Charlotte Collier says is a new and unique experience. I also thought it was cool that they include a bunch of different experiences because then every time you go in, you're trying something new. And while Melissa offers many beautiful floral arrangements for Fort Mill locals to buy or create, there's one gorgeous piece of art that has a little more significance. So my uh, experience in building boutonnieres and corsages for the last 20 years was exclusively weddings. Now having the studio and having a retail space, um, I have encountered being able to do boutonnieres and corsages for homecoming, for prom, for um, lots of different events for young folks. And while homecoming and prom are already special experiences on their own, 11th grader Clara Lee says making your own corsage as something more memorable to the occasion. I feel like making your own corsage or boutonniere adds uh, another personal experience to homecoming or prom. They add character and uniqueness to the outfit because no two flowers are the same. As varied as blooms in this business, so too are the experiences and creations that come out of it. We wanted to bring a positive way for young people and really everybody to have some creative expression. For CRN TV, I'm Elise Croft. Thanks, Elise. Now the shop is open every day except Sunday, and if you want a corsage before Saturday, you may have to call to see if there are spots available. Okay, last little thing. Our varsity cheer team is heading to state qualifiers tonight at Spring Valley, so we want to wish them luck. And of course, we will have those updates for you bright and early tomorrow on the Snake Bite. For Sierra TV, I'm Mia Jones.